Football playoffs are finally officially underway in Iowa. Easton Valley is on to the second round of the playoffs after a dominating 50-point win over Dunkerton. Local 4 Sports' Ryan Risky shows us how they got it done. Easton Valley put up 62 points in their opening round of the playoffs. The offense got off on the right foot, and head coach Tony Johnson says that having a balanced offensive attack was the key. We wanted to attack them early on on the ground, um, which we were able to establish, and then it just opened everything up for our passing game. One thing that became tricky was this being the second week in a row that they played Dunkerton, so Coach Johnson knew that they had to come up with something new. On the second play of the game, Connor Groover threw a 46-yard touchdown pass to Porter Feagan to ignite the offensive explosion. Well, that was a new play we put in this week, and uh, it worked perfectly, and I got open, we had great blocking, I got, made it in the end zone. The air attack was on point, and an important factor was the receivers running great routes. I think uh, the play action pass really worked uh, tonight in our favor. Um, that let uh, Connor get uh, to the receivers pretty, pretty good. Um, great route running by our receivers. I was really proud of the effort they gave tonight. The Riverhawks dominated all three phases, including the return game where Carson Feagan returned a punt for a touchdown. We just had really good blocking on the punt returns all the way down the field and just run hard all the way through. The Riverhawks kept Dunkerton guessing all game, and that even came true on the goal line at the end of the first half. I'm more of a blocker in the run game, but he called my number, and we had great blocking. Followed the blocks right up the middle and got in. Easton Valley's next test of the playoffs will be against Springville. In Preston, Ryan Risky, Local 4 Sports.